video, we're going to talk about dashboards. Dashboards are super fun. Uh, dashboards are basically a way of visualizing uh, results and information that you want to see quickly from series and sets of data. So this is an example that we use in our family regularly. My husband actually built this for us. So this is movies that we want to watch with our kids. This is actual real data. Uh, so the first tab is our dashboard. This is where we visualize kind of the summary of everything that's going on in the data set. There's lots of different ways to build dashboards, but very much like pivot tables and queries, you kind of have to know what it is you want to know before you can build it. This particular dashboard is a series of count ifs. There's also some sort filters here. It's all using uh, advanced functions and formulas to kind of pull data in from another side. Uh, we also have a series of graphs and charts to kind of visualize everything that's going on. So we're going to take a quick dive into what our data set looks like and then how we've used these functions and formulas to visualize our data in this summarized way. So here is our data sheet. It's actually filtered right now. So let me turn this filter off. So here is our data set. It is a list of movies, years, minutes, genre, ratings, and then we have a couple of columns here that are empty. Uh, these are columns where each member of our family rates how what we thought of that movie. We also have a space where we can watch, or we can put down how many times we've watched it and date watched. Uh, I need to update this because my son has now watched all of the Marvel movies at least five times and the Star Wars movies, so we could probably update all of those ratings and watched and the dates watched. If I was doing this the super simple way, I would uh, put a filter on here, which I already have, this kind of basic filter, and then I could sort through by A to Z, I could build a pivot table, um, you know, I could kind of visualize the data that way. But because we use this regularly, uh, we thought it'd be great to have a dashboard in place to be able to do all of this visualization just by looking at the dashboard and not actually having to do any of the work. It also makes it really easy for us to show other people and to see it on our phones. So let's go back to the dashboard and take a look now that you know what the data looks like. What are some of these formulas looking at? So here we've got some summary data about movies that we have already watched. So we can see that we're almost 6% through watching this whole list of movies that my husband has compiled. We can see how many movies we've watched, how much time we have left. We can see our average rating. And you can see we haven't watched any movies recently, which is actually not true. We have. Uh, we just haven't been recording the movies that we've been watching. And then here we can see a little pie chart. We've got a bar chart of average rating. And then you can kind of see a breakdown of all of our ratings. If you want to play around with this as your first uh, practice into dashboards. Uh, we have a template that you can use. This is what the blank template looks like. Um, so uh, I want you to notice that the first tab, the dashboard tab, is locked. So when you open this for yourself, you'll be prompted to make a copy. Once you make a copy, you want to rename it. It'll be yours from then on. It won't be a template. You'll have the ability as the owner to either keep this sheet protected or to unprotect it. We keep it protected. We can type in it. Uh, but what it'll do is it'll give us a little warning. It'll say, hey, you're trying to edit part of this sheet that's not supposed to be edited because there's formulas here. So you can turn that off if you want to, or you can turn it back on. Um, most of what you need to be able to edit is here um, in these, uh, most of what you want to edit is where it says person one, person two, person three, person four. That all correlates with this right here. So for example, if I wanted to go in here and change this, I could put in the name Mike. And then over here, person one, I would also want to change to Mike. One last thing you'll have to do is go into these chart editors and change from person one to the name of the person. So once you've done all of that, now you have this all fixed. The last thing you need to do is to go in here and start rating your movies. So, all right, let's be super generous with all of these ratings. And then we're going to check the dashboard. And now we can see that it's already started to populate in all of these places until you have 
numbers or ratings for all of these people, you're going to see some some errors here, but as soon as you get one or two ratings in, all of those errors will go away, and then your charts and things will start to uh, will start to populate um, and look nice again. Now, if you want to add a fifth person or if you want to remove people, that's going to take a little bit more work. But after all of the practice that you've done with spreadsheets, I'm sure you're up for the challenge.